Hello guys, I'm back. Today let's cover the following question. Please sir, I wish to know how the, pre the temperature, pressure, molar flow of e each unit is calculated or is known before inserting in Aspen High Seas. In other words, how, to, how do we obtain the pressure, temperature, molar flow rate that we use in Aspen High Seas? So the question is, how we add the process conditions in the Aspen High Seas. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. Follow my profile and like this video to have hundreds of content related to chemical process engineering and plant design. So before starting any process simulation on Aspen High Seas or in any other process simulation software, it's important that you know and understand what is the process that you are dealing with. For instance, if you, are, if you will start a gas sweetening from scratch or if you, you will start a biogas upgrading from, from scratch or you will start a air separation unit from scratch, before opening your Aspen High Seas or any other process simulation software, you must study about the process that you are dealing with. So, based on that, you, where you should start? You should start, if you are a graduate or a student, you should start from books. You will verify on books the main process considerations that you should know. Or you can go to magazines also, engineering magazines that deals or describes the kind of process that you are looking for. And in many cases, what will be most helpful to you is to get in touch with papers or articles where you have an overview of your process. For instance, if I will start a uh, the CO2 liquefaction plant from scratch, the first thing that, we, that I will do is looking for papers or, or available that gives to me what are the main technologies available for that, what are the main considerations that I should uh, have, for instance, what are the typical temperature, operate, operating temperature, operating pressure, and what are the relationship between the consumed power and production per volume, per, per mass, and etc. These are all, all these sources will give you hints or will give you tips on, what, on how to start a new process. Because anything is done from scratch, anything is done from nowhere when we are talking about chemical process engineering in plant design. When we are talking about chemical process engineering plant design, we have the product specification, we have the raw material conditions, and we must select what is the best process, available process, known process used to reach the product requirements based on the raw material conditions. So, in this question, what, what happens, how we add the process information from Aspen High Seas, knowing the process. First, you will get familiar with the process that you must deal with. Second, you must know what are the product requirements for your specific case and what are the raw material conditions for your specific case. Based on that, you will choose the unit operations needed to achieve this, the results. And you can compare your results with papers to verify if your, your KPIs of power consumption, for instance, is similar or not for those ones that is available in the, in the academia or in the university and etc. If you need some references for engineering magazines available on internet, take a look on this video that will appear to you right now. This is it guys, I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.